Sure. Is that... Is that really necessary? Sounds like a plan. Tahar? Hmm? This dream you've told me about on our way to Farland's Hope. The one you've been having since your childhood? I've been thinking about it. Have you? Yes. These strange, human-like puppets you see in it. They might be a way of your mind telling you that there's an aspect about your flesh, your body, which you haven't come to understand yet. Where did you get that? Well, becoming a light mage involves a lot of introspection and journeying into one's mind. But then again, dreams are enigmatic. I might be wrong. You're up ahead. Interesting. Now, would you look at that? This way, right? That way? Yes. We're in for a fight. Hey, 
I didn't think I'd set foot in here again so soon. Have you been here before? A long time ago, yes. That was still during the wars. It looked quite different at that time. I can imagine. It's certainly massive. Not even Finn and Mir comes close to that. You're an adventurer, aren't you? Come, take a look. I'm sure I've got something that might spark your interest. Good choice. Axes, daggers, swords, everything for the wary traveler. Farewell.
que tal. Adventure, aren't you? Come take a look. I'm sure I've got something that might spark your interest. A fair offer. Yes? Want to trade? Good choice. Yes, yes, come closer. I'm sure I have just what you need. Come again. May Tiara bless your path.
The best wares from Kalea to Nordhammer. You know how to bargain, don't you? No, Penelope, you cannot do this to me, he loudly screamed, full of pain and anguish. Penelope softly cast him a mournful glance. Her eyes dreamily drifted off towards the cold. There you are. I was wondering when you'd show up. I came as fast as I could. Where are the villagers? In a safe place. Not the most beautiful part of this city, but it'll do. For now. Ah, and I sent Ralph to an apothecary. Despite the fire nettle, his cramps have gotten worse. I see. How was the rest of the journey? Well, a handful of the general's soldiers followed us, but we handled them. Probably didn't expect any resistance from an old crone like me and a couple of farmers. I only wish we hadn't lost so many people. I know you did your best, but... There's gonna be a lot of grieving in the next moons. Damn that crazy general! What did we do to him? Nothing. Either way, that's not why you're here, right? You kept your promise, and I'll keep mine. Allies? Does that mean you'll introduce me to those friends of yours? Yes. In fact, I've already told him about you. His name is Philan Argyll, the mayor of this city. True love knows... You're friends with Everlight's mayor? Well, friends is a big word. Let's just say that he still owed me a favor. Will he meet with me? Yes, just go to his house and tell the guard that you're sent by Clara Farland. She'll let you in. So, I guess this is where we part ways, isn't it? It was a pleasure, Tahar. Thank you for everything. Make her heart rejoice in fierce Likewise. What will you and your people do now? Play it by ear, I suppose. That's what I've always been good at. State your business. Clara Farland sent me. Huh. The description fits. Fine, go on in. Argyll is waiting for you. As a free city, Everlight's leadership is not chosen by the right of blood, but elected by the town's nobility. What do we need? Let's see. Sure. Interesting. Well, well, if it isn't the notorious betrayer's child. I always wondered what you looked like. I had something different in mind. I'm Fulan Argyll, Mayor of Everlight. Pleased to make your acquaintance. But let us cut to the chase, shall we? Clara has told me you're looking for an ally. One that can help you put an end to the Bloodbird. What else did she tell you? Not much I didn't already know. Who you are, and your involvement in the Mage Wars. And before you say any more, I don't want to know. You don't? No. The less I know, the less dangerous our cooperation is for me. Also, I fully trust Clara's judgment. If she thinks you're worthy of our support, then so do I. So, can you help us? I believe I can. Let me introduce you to the Wayfarers. Come on in. Tahar, this is Rowan, leader of the Wayfarers, one of the most able mercenary groups on EO. Rohan? 
Tahar, Tiara's breath. I take it you were acquainted already? We... This man used to be my father's right hand during the Mage Wars. He was the one who told him of my plans to leave the Rebels. Hmm. Interesting. Don't act so surprised, Argyll. You knew of my past. And you also know that I'm the only reason this war is over. If I hadn't told the Crown of Asamo's attack on the Keep, he would have won. So yes, Tahar, you're right. I told Asamo about your betrayal. But ever since then, I've tried to repent. That doesn't bring Zane or Helena back to life. <sighs> Look, you're angry. And after what I did, you have all the right to be. But this is not the time for discussion. You need an ally, and we are all you're going to get. So, please, let us just put this behind us, even if it's just for now. Let us, let the Wayfarers help you. Who in the blazes are the Wayfarers? Mercenaries, as Argal said. I founded them right after the war. Mercenaries? Yes. But that's just how we pay for our shelter and our food. Most of the time, the Wayfarers are helping people. Refugees, farmers, homeless. We're protecting those who the Crown has forgotten. Very poetic. And how do I know you're telling the truth? He is. Thanks. Look, Tahar, I know I messed up. I served a monster for over six years of my life. But I regret it. And I'm trying to make amends. Hmm. So you warned the Royal Army of the attack? Yes. It took me some time to realize how rotten our movement had become. But when I did, I acted. Just like you. But please. I can tell you all about this, but not now. Not here. So, this army of yours, what can you offer? Knowledge, tactics, swords. Whatever it is you and the Harbinger need to end the Bloodburn, we'll help you. Fine, but we'll have a lot to talk about, Rohan. Yes, I know. Well, that's settled then. But as much as I appreciate your presence, I would like you, Rohan, to hear, and your soldiers, to leave this city as soon as possible. An army this size of the Wayfarers will draw the Royal Army's attention sooner or later. And that's something neither of us want to happen. You're right. Goodbye then, Argyll, and thank you for your help. It has been my pleasure. Of the few refugees who make it to Everlight, many are shocked to find that their troubles do not end there. Though its neutrality as a city-state left it largely unscathed during the Mage Wars, the city has its own mountain of problems to struggle with. The biggest ones being the Ever-
give the word. to protect him and you're the only one who can please this is my baby boy we are talking about just Next. 